Go. This is a soldering iron. This is hot. Don't touch it. Uh, you don't need to. I did it once, and I ended up having a blister on my hand for a week. Um, this is the soldering iron station. You can put this right there, and it'll keep it, uh, you know, from rolling around and stuff. Um, this is a uh, sponge, and it's wet so that after I do some soldering, I can wipe off the tip of this thing. Whoa, that turned like a really cool shade of blue for a second. It's gone now. Um, this is solder. It looks like wire, but when you touch it to the end of there, it, it melts. Um, and this is wire. This is... I'm going to strip the end of it just to show you. Um, if I don't already know ahead of time uh, what to use, uh, this wire cutter right here, this wire stripper, I'll just stick it in one that's definitely too large and then work my way down until I feel it grip. And hopefully this has something. Okay, cool. So that gripped <laughs> the very last one. And now I'll pull it off like that. And you can see exposed uh, the inner wire. This is a solid core wire, meaning this is like one solid piece. Um, there are other wires where if you strip off the outside sheath, this will be a bunch of strands. This is helping hands. Um, you can put your wires like this and then wrap them around each other uh, like I've done here. And that will make it a lot easier to hold solder in one hand and the soldering iron in another hand. And when you solder something, you want to make the thing uh, that you're soldering heat up a lot. If you want solder all over this, you want to heat up all of this and you won't get the solder to stick to it unless you do that. It won't help if you put a bunch of solder on the tip of this thing and then touch this to there. You need to get this part hot. So I will touch this to there to get it hot and then I'll touch the solder to a different part and if it melts, I'll know that it's the two wires that are melting the solder, not the soldering iron. And that was pretty good. And I got all the way from one end of the wrap to the other end. And now I have a bunch of stuff on the end of the soldering iron. So I'll wipe it off. And if I needed to go again, um, that would help in transferring the heat from there to there. Uh, but I got it all in one go. So... Um, let's see. Oh, after that, the uh, next thing you want to do is take electrical tape and start taping before this joint and tape and wrap it around until just after this joint. So you go around and around and around. Um, and that's it. Thanks.